Okay, so uh, next modification that I uh, planned on doing to the boat was fitting a diesel heater, one of these uh, Chinese planar heaters. It cost me a hundred pound and um, it arrived within a week, I think. But it's from the UK, although it is a Chinese heater, and most of the suppliers are Chinese. But I found an English seller anyway. I have um, plugged it all in. It's not uh, maybe it's not its permanent place at the moment, but it's plugged in a bit of a crude way. But it's secure um, and it's running. Anyway, I've, I've got it running. Uh, it's been running for seven minutes now, um, and it's absolutely bellowing heat. So I'm going to show it you anyway. I'm going to show you the setup. Okay, so that's permanent, uh, not permanent, uh, temporary diesel tank, obviously. The main tank is up there. And then the pump is just wedged on. Hard to go around. And then this is the heater. So the heater is, uh, I've, uh, I've wrapped the exhaust in heat wrap when it exits the boat. Oh no, that is leaking a little bit actually, to be fair. Might have to deal with that. Uh, then there's the air intake, and then the fuel, and then it goes into there. And uh, honestly, that is bellowing hot air. So, that's the basic setup. It comes with a remote control, so I can turn it on and off from the bed if I need to. Um, and then I would set the temperature that I wanted to get to on there. Uh, I can set a timer on it also. I can have that come on any time I want. And then that just runs from, uh, from the diesel. And I'm not sure how economical it is on diesel, but it doesn't seem to be pulling too much diesel through. There. Now, obviously, that wood isn't brilliant, but I had to rip the carpet off. But this is a temporary, temporary thing. And then the exhaust goes. <laughs> but that exhaust is temporary also, uh, because there isn't a. Uh, uh, I've not put the silencer on yet, so it's even quieter than that when the silencer is on. Um, which is brilliant. Uh, that's not too noisy, it's just the sound of a fan. I can turn that fan down, I don't have to have it on full power all the time, I've just got it on full power for testing it. But, I don't know if you can really hear that. It just sounds like a normal fan really, like a fan heater. But obviously it's uh, 5 kilowatts. Anyway, uh, I'll keep you updated on how this one goes because... Uh, I've never fitted one before, it's a new one on me. Uh, but I do need some heat before winter, and that could be the answer. Originally I did buy that for the van, but uh, the boat is sat on cold water and winter is coming, so. Anyway, I'll check back with you soon. Okay, so I've had that heater running now for a good hour and a half. Uh, it's barely using any diesel, which is good. Uh, I've set the clock, I've set the timer, I've set uh, all the settings, you know, all the main ones. Um, it's blowing into the uh, boat now and we're currently at 25 degrees and rising inside the boat but I think it's probably hotter than that it's just the temperature gauge is going up slower than it should do but it's boiling uh, and I've got the window open um, so yeah it's going uh, it's working really well I'm surprised actually it was 150 quid um, and yeah it's going really well uh, the only issue I've got really is that the fact that because I'm limited for space on the boat uh, I've had to drill a hole in the side of the boat which is never good but from there it's the positioning of the exhaust where to put it so at the moment it's just sort of pointing upwards with a silencer on uh, I'll show you that now actually <laughs> which is when I open this window that's where the exhaust is Anyway, so the heater is coming out here. I just need to re-carpet this. But I can't hold my hand on that, it's so hot. Uh, this obviously can twist around. 
not pointing in any direction. And obviously the best bit about it, well, there's many good bits about it, but it's that it's on a remote control, as you can see. So I can just turn that off and on and off and on whenever I want. Uh, so especially for like in the morning or even in an evening really, I can have it um, on for an hour, heat the boat up and then before I go to bed and then same in the morning. I've set the timer to come on at 6 a.m. until 7 it's seven yeah it's for an hour in the morning um but obviously if i don't need it i can just turn it off with the remote I, I, i'm impressed with it so far um there's still some improvements to do i'm not using the original tank i'm just using a jerry can but that's just because the original tank's 10 liters and it's massive uh so i need to figure out a place to put that but the boat has heat and also it's off the grid heat as well so it's not using the electric underfloor heating. When I'm out cruising, I um, can just, as long as I've got some diesel, obviously it's a diesel boat as well, so I could just chuck it straight in the diesel tank of the boat. Um, it would run from there, really. So yeah, I've got some off the grid heat, which I'm really happy with. Anyway, uh, I hope I've explained this uh, heat to you um, well enough, and uh, I'll see you in soon, I guess. Bye-bye.